This morning, the Walker County District Attorney's Office, the Walker County Sheriff's Office, and the Texas Rangers presented an investigation of Dr. Larry Nasser and the Caroli Ranch to a Walker County grand jury. The grand jury, after hearing the evidence presented, returned the following indictments against Dr. Larry Nasser, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony, and sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony. Against Deborah Van Horn, sexual assault of a child, a second degree felony. On October 31st, 2016, the Walker County Sheriff's Office received a report that involved allegations of abuse by Dr. Larry Nasser at the Caroli Ranch located in Walker County, Texas. The allegations reported to law enforcement by the Michigan Child Protective Services Agency included conduct by Dr. Nasser while he was acting as the team physician for USA Gymnastics. The initial report involved two victims who had been at the Caroli Ranch training with USAG. The Sheriff's Office immediately opened an investigation into the allegations and enlisted the assistance of the Walker County District Attorney's Office and the Texas Rangers. As the investigation progressed, we became aware that there were multiple other agencies, both state and federal, who were also investigating the activities of Dr. Nasser. The Walker County Sheriff's Office worked with the Federal Bureau of Investigation to provide information about the investigation in Walker County, and ultimately the decision was made to turn over the two pending cases in Walker County to the federal agency to be included in the plea of Dr. Nasser in Michigan. As the investigation continued, more women were identified as possible victims of, in Walker County, and ultimately, a total of eight victims made reports to the Sheriff's Office regarding Dr. Nasser. Those reports were all thoroughly investigated. On February 1st, 2018, after Dr. Nasser had been sentenced in Michigan, Governor Greg Abbott instructed the Texas Rangers to conduct an investigation into the activities at the Caroli Ranch to determine if there, were any other, if there was any other criminal wrongdoing by individuals other than Dr. Nasser. While we had already explored that aspect of the investigation, the Rangers, along with the Sheriff's Office and the District Attorney's Office, reevaluated all of the evidence that had been gathered over the last 20 months to determine if there were any other people who could or should be charged. The Texas Rangers conducted further interviews and attempted to gather more documentation. Bella and Marta Caroli were interviewed at length. The Carolis were and remain fully cooperative with this investigation. There is no corroborated evidence of any criminal conduct by Bella or Marta Caroli. Several other individuals associated with USA Gymnastics, including former USAG President Steve Penny and former USAG Vice President Rhonda Fain, were also interviewed. The focus of this part of the investigation was to determine who may have known about Dr. Nasser and who had any obligation to report that activity under the law. At the conclusion of that investigation, the Texas Rangers and the Walker County Sheriff's Office presented their findings to the Walker County District Attorney's Office. Our office reviewed the investigation to determine if any criminal charges could or should be filed. The decision was made that the entire investigation would be presented to a Walker County grand jury for consideration of felony charges against Dr. Larry Nasser. This investigation remains open and any further information will be investigated and pursued. An investigation of this magnitude often presents difficulty for law enforcement due to the volume of information and the span of time encompassed. The largest hurdle we faced in this case in reviewing the actions of individuals other than Dr. Nasser was the statute of limitations. Because the statutes regarding failure to report child abuse are misdemeanors, the statute of limitations is two years. By the time Walker County law enforcement became aware of the allegations in this case, the statute of limitations had already lapsed on any offenses that may have been committed. We are bound by the law, but that in no way means that there was no wrongdoing at the ranch or within the ranks of USAG. It is our belief that there was a total failure 
by USAG to protect the athletes that were part of their program and to take appropriate action once they were made aware of Dr. Nasser's actions. The Walker County District Attorney's Office, the Walker County Sheriff's Office, and the Texas Rangers will continue to actively investigate any further allegations that are made regarding the activities at the ranch and to pursue justice within the parameters set forth by the law.